I hope you all can hear me. I'm very excited today. We are going to the Uniqlo in Soho to check out the new Marnie X Uniqlo collection. And there's a very specific reason why I'm excited, but I'm going to save that for later. And now the cars are coming, so it's very loud. Anyways, uh, stay tuned. You'll be on this ride. And uh, yeah, I'm so psyched. This mother is the reason why I'm excited for today. T tell us what's going on. All right, we suck it. No. <laughs> None of that. Nothing? None of that. Where are we going? The Marnie X Unique Low campaign. And who's the face of that campaign? Uh, I don't know, bro. Some random. Is it, is it this, this face. I have no asshole. idea. Honestly. All right. Cool. Thanks. Thanks for that. Thanks. People are gonna love that. No, you. I same. I mean, I also did not. Uh, I don't wear any like, rings. I woke up at like 12 p.m. Right? Like 1 p.m. And I was just like, hey, I'm hungry. Ow. All right, we're in Uniqlo now. Look at that smile. Stop scaring the poor people on YouTube. I should have brought my tank top so I could have seen what everything looks like. I mean, there's, there's like changing Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to. I feel like there's a line for that too. It's so loud in here and I hate doing these update things, but um, we didn't find anything that looked good on me. You know, I could, I could show some of the video of me trying to try these on, but it's very crowded in here and the trying on experience kind of sucks. And I don't really love, I'm not super in love with all the colors. So I'm gonna keep trying, but uh, it's looking like we have little to no success at the moment. It's a no for me, dog. Well, it's, it, of course it's a no for you. You got paid to wear the clothes. Exactly. <laughs> okay, this is the shirt that I was most excited for, and it looks like I work at Kmart in it, and that's, that's not the vibe. Okay, this is like a tiny bit of a bib over <laughs> my normal clothing right now. It looks really funny, but it's pretty cool. It looks bloody great. Yeah, it looks good. It's like, like if you got to get this sewn, maybe? Oh, I don't know. I'm not gonna get that sewn. I would just wear it over the... That's not, that's not too bad. It's Only the bad. girls' clothes look good on me so far. <laughs> no, they're, they're, they're all innocent. You know, so Okay, so we ended up finding a bunch of like girl stuff that looked really good on me and I'll show you how it looks at home and I'm uh, very happy. It wasn't what I thought I wanted, but it ended up being what I needed. So, let's go home. Okay, it's another day. We have mysteriously teleported back into the lab, into the apartment so that we can review the little clothing haul that we got. I'm gonna be completely honest. I didn't expect the outcome of what ended up happening because there was a series of clothes that I was interested in before I got there, which was the one that made me look like I worked at Kmart. All the ones that were kind of marketed as being masculine clothing are what I was looking forward to. And they ended up being the ones that I didn't like as much. Even though the entire collection is more unisex than it is masculine or feminine, feminine. Even though it was more unisex than masculine or feminine, I still felt like they divided it up between men and women pretty evenly. And I ended up finding a lot more clothing in the women's section that looked better on me. So first we're going to go over the set that I got. This is the, I mean, the B-roll for this is hilarious, but this is the t-shirt that's like lime green chartreuse and then kind of like olive on the back. And then it's got the matching board shorts, which you can kind of go Swimming with these two together. I think they're like a pretty cool combo I love the color coordination and I think that these colors look really good on me. This wasn't in the collection I just wanted this shirt for a while. This is just a Uniqlo U Airism shirt I think it looks pretty much almost exactly the same as what I'm wearing right now except it's got a different cut um, This isn't that important. This shirt in blue 
and this is kind of one of the ones that was more on the women's side, I guess. I don't know. I mean, it was all unisex, but this one looks really good. I'm probably gonna put this on and wear it for the remainder of this episode. I really like the different, like, navy with the almost electric blue, and the pattern's really cool, too. I wish that they had more of this pattern as opposed to the patterns that ended up on the guy's stuff, because I felt like they... The flowers were really ugly to me. I felt like those flowers were really ugly and they just didn't appeal to me or any of my senses, you know? Okay, I'll be right back with the, with the last thing that I got. Does this look familiar? Because it's pretty much the same exact shirt in chartreuse, like mustard, and it's almost the same, is it? I think it's the same color as the shorts. So I can kind of like mix and match and pair them differently. Overall, very happy, very pleased with how it turned out. Wasn't how I expected it to because I was expecting to get just a lot of like cool, boring, minimalistic clothing. And I always fall into that trap. That's like my number one fashion trap. Oh, let me just get this like very plain thing. It'll go with everything else I already have. And it'll also look like everything else I already have and look like stuff that other people have. If I, you know, open myself up to more creative decisions, I think it'll look good. Oh, that reminds me. I have to do a thrift video of my most recent pickups. That'll be next week, so you can look forward to that. Thank you guys so much for coming with me on this little journey to Uniqlo with my friends. I had a wonderful time, and I hope you enjoyed it too. Please leave a like or a comment or any of those YouTube things because you gotta ask for YouTube things when you're making YouTube videos, please. And if you dislike the video, please give it a dislike. Let me know if I'm messing up, please. I need to know. Uh, yeah, that, that's all. That's, that's as charming as I can be at the end for this outro type thing. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much. Bye guys.